What's up, sons? It's Blindon with Savant Tech once again, and I am redoing the Simple Mining OS overclocking video because of a couple details that I left out that should be covered, and I just want to make sure that you guys have all of the information that I can provide you, and if that requires me to re-upload a video, then I'm going to do it. That being said, if this is your first time checking out how to overclock on Simple Mining OS, we should have you covered right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. So a couple notes here is I do recommend testing each card individually still and you can either do this in a window system which is what I personally do with MSI Afterburner or you can just take out all the cards and put one card in at a time into your SMOS system and test what the max overclock is for that particular device. Once you have all those numbers just write them down and keep them with you so you can kind of go from there or off of that while you're adjusting the overclocks in SMOS. Without further ado, let's hop into the example. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to simplemining.net and get logged in with your account. You can click the rig list and bring up your rig right here. On the far right for actions, you'll notice that you have overclocking, reload miner, reboot rig, etc. As well as the console. And the big thing that you're going to want to take a look at is the overclocking. You can do that by clicking the overclocking button and then you'll be able to change or adjust all of the overclocks for all of your cards. The core megahertz is going to be just how high you want to overclock the core. Putting it in with 25 and will overclock at 25 megahertz. If you want to downclock it, you would just put a negative in front of it. You can also overclock multiple cards by using a comma, which is the big thing that I missed in the original video. And this will just go in order from GPU device ID 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in that order as you go through. So it would look like this. However, of course, instead of having the actual device ID, you will put in the actual overclock number that you want for that device. You can also do this with memory megahertz, of course, and put in the 200, for example, here on this one. And you can do it for power limit. The only thing you can't adjust by card basis is target temperature and minimum fan speed, which will apply across all cards on your mining rig. So that's going to pretty much cover how you overclock, but let's talk about how you determine which device you're overclocking, etc. You'll want to use PuTTY for this, and if you haven't used PuTTY yet, we've used it in some of our Masternodes setups, etc. And I'll leave it in the description below. I'm just going to go ahead and get a session open here for you guys. And if you're looking for your IP, all you have to do is hover over the name and it will give you your local IP. So you see here my local IP is 10.210.210.14. Now while it's possible to configure this to open it up to the internet, I do not condone or recommend it. So you probably won't find a video of me teaching you how to do that. Just leave it on your local network, please. So we're going to type in the 10.210.210.14 and it will pop open a putty session here and the default username and password is minor and minor i recommend changing the default password for minor just so you have everything safe and secure even if somebody did get on your local network and we'll talk about that when we talk about setting up ssh with simple mining in a later video if you're interested in that be sure to hit the subscribe button now what I wanted to get you logged in here for is to show you guys that you can use a tool here to get all of your device IDs, which would be uh, to, just by typing NVIDIA-SMI. Let me see if I did that right. NVIDIA. We missed an I there. And once you get that typed in and press enter, it will give you a huge list of all of your GPUs. It will give you the GPU ID number the fan percentage and you can see here that we can confirm that they're all at 80 percent it's giving us the temperatures and other performance data metrics that we might need so if you're running a multiple gpu system like in this case with 1060s and a titan x you can see the difference uh differences in the actual device id number so when you go into overclock you can target that particular device with that overclock and not have to worry near as much so that's pretty much how you can determine what you're going to be overclocking and then that's going to be how you overclock i have been told that if you just wait a couple minutes it's the overclock will apply and reload itself. I just go ahead and click the reload miner program 
personally for that. The other videos we're going to have to cover here is configuring your BIOS later for, of course, Simple Mining, which we will be doing here shortly for you guys. And we will also probably be taking a look at AMD, etc. Because this is particularly uh, NVIDIA focused. There's a few other options when using the AMD version of Simple Mining OS that we'll have to go over as well. Alrighty, so that's going to wrap up how to overclock with Simple Mining OS, aka SMOS. If you guys are interested in any other kind of aspects of SMOS in particular, please leave them in the comment section below. Like I said, we will be covering... SSH sessions overall and with SMOS in particular and then we will also be covering the AMD card so if there's anything else as a part of this series that you think we need to have for the community definitely let me know and I will put it on the list be patient with me as we have a lot of videos to get through I hope you guys enjoyed if you want to help mine on our pools go check out coins.sonofatech.com don't forget to like comment and subscribe I will see you next Tuesday